Today I will try to show you how to make these in two little parts. I want to sorry for my bad English at the beginning. First of all, let's add a plane and then increase its subdivision 40 times. And then you want to choose some points and then deform it as you like. Of course you should make it look like desert as you want to make a place similar to desert. While doing this, you may want to put a camera into the scene to arrange its position to give our plane more detail in advance. You can just click Ctrl Alt number plus 0 or just click Lock Camera to the View underneath the View section. At this point, I want to add a little more detail to make it more realistic. It's optional of course, you don't have to do it. Here I am adding subdivisions and then adding displacement modifier later on. After doing all of your tweaks, if you are ok with your desert like scene, you can now pass into the shading. I have shaded it in advance, but let's do it together. Don't forget to activate non Wrangler add-on to make things faster with some shortcuts. As you see here, I have just clicked Ctrl T after clicking the principal PCDF to get the rest of the nodes automatically. If you want to replace a node with another, you just click that node and Ctrl S and choose the node that you want to replace with. Here I have added a noise texture. You can tweak it as you like or just do it like I did. Of course, don't forget to assign your material to see what's going on. Here I have added a mix RGB node to give the desert its color. They say desertish color. To make it realistic, namely bumpy, we should add bump node and then combine them properly. Here I wanted to add another texture, Voronai texture, to make it more interesting. By the way, by clicking Ctrl Shift left click, you can see the function of that node. While doing shading, like all shadings, you should tweak here and there to make it more satisfied. Let's add even more detail with wave texture to make it more funny. Here I have added separate XYZ converter node to get the lines only at Z axis. Because the lines are so smooth, I will disturb it with the noise texture. Before combining noise texture, I will add the color ramp to get more control. Now we have finished our shading, let's go to the next stage which is more important and more interesting.